Gerard, which pictures do you, do you think was your how I put it? Good. I, I know you, I know you wanted to <laughs> talk about Manchester United. But apart from Manchester United, okay. which, which pictures do you think shocked you in the weekend game? Um actually um uh, Brentford game actually shocked me. Brentford um, winning um Leeds United five, five goals to two. two yeah. You know, I told you about Ivan Tony. Ivan yeah, Tony is one of my strange. favorite yeah, strikers in the well. Premier League. Yeah. So Ivan Tony bagging a hat trick, like it's a very um good one for him. I'm happy for Ivan Tony. Likewise, Mbwemo and Wisa. Mbwemo and Wisa yeah, yeah, my guys, favorite. I, I love them a lot. So I am I also uh, love um Brighton game also. Um Betting game was also interesting. Seeing McAllister yeah, getting a hat brace hat and hat uh, hat yeah, hat. so it was a very it was a very big one. Yeah. So it was a very big one for me. And those um, what games, about the Liverpool Everton game? The early kickoff. Ah, uh, the early kickoff on Saturday. Yeah. Actually, most early kickoff I expect. I don't expect too much because the sun the intensity of the sun. Yeah. So most times it gets to affect the yes. players, the goalkeeper, the fans. Yeah. But um, I, I I thought Liverpool should have gotten something better. From that fixture okay. and also there was a controversial call in the game um there was a Where controversial a call body scored yes. and offside and other so i uh, so i feel i feel um liverpool still needs to do better Looking at liverpool this season they've just had two victory um three draws and two losses also um everton also have three losses four draws and zero win they've not really had any win this season so uh, people were expecting liverpool to have that one as it should be an easy peasy for liverpool just the fact that they are they have more squad depth than Everton and yeah. they are really informed after after beating Bournemouth nine goals to nil. Yeah. We were expecting Liverpool to actually triumph from that um, um set play, but we saw Liverpool playing a goal edge, they could even score um even up to one goal. So that brings me to Mohamed Salah. Do you think Mohamed Salah this season is going to bang in those goals that has been banging the previous season? Uh, or, uh, yeah. yeah. Gerald, like I earlier said about yeah. um the um, absence of Saidio Mani, yeah. Uh, Saidio Mani was a workhorse for the attack of Liverpool last season. Yeah. Sadio Mane also contributed to Salah getting pockets of space in the attack. Yeah. So, um, uh, recently, Salah has been struggling to score um, to score goals. In. I feel Salah won't bang goals this season. If he gets the, the penalties, fine for him. You know, then Mane runs the box, Mane tries beating players, a defender might drag him down and cost a penalty. Salah scores. So this time, um, it's not really, it's not really coming for the goals are not coming for Salah. But having in mind, Salah is going to score goals, it's but it's going to good. take time. It's going to take time. So, I I see Salah scoring maybe fifteen goals, fifteen goals, but he may not get up to twenty goals. Wow. Okay, let's move into the Manchester United Arsenal fixture. So, so yeah, United, yeah, 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 that yeah. One, three goals. So, <laughs> what, what do you think contributed? What do you think? Mm -hmm. um, Ten Hang, yeah, do you think yeah. his game plan worked? Okay, S buying um an Anthony on a when he's there, starting him on a Sunday. Do you think that that was a very very big call he had to make on that one? Yeah, 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 Gerald. That was a very big call he had to make because there have been rumors um that um let them see if Ten Hag is going to start um Anthony Dos yeah. Santos because he has been benching Cristiano Ronaldo yeah. and um, Casemiro, so they are trying to uh fault him on the fact that. Will he be partial or will will he favor his uh player? Yeah. So for me, Ten Hag throwing Anthony to the starting lineup is actually taking his stand and laying his claim that hey, I am the coach. And I'm confident in you. I am confident in Anthony. Yeah. I signed and I ordered the club management to spend to fork out hundred million euros to get Anthony. So he knows what he's doing. Yeah. So for me, and look at Anthony gave him a very good return on investment yeah. by scoring one goal against Arsenal yeah, and the first, the first goal line. Yeah. So for me, um, Ten Hag knows what he's doing. Ten Hag tactics has been fine. Even um, against Arsenal, look at his tactics. Look at how Ten Hag uh, played the game. Ten Hag knows that his players can't actually play his football now. Only, yeah. That is the possessive football, yeah. the one-touch kind of football. Yeah. But... Slowly, they are getting it. Before Anthony's goal, Manchester United had a total of 18 complete passes. Before wow. Anthony's goal, 18 complete passes. Which you don't hear about Manchester United before. Now, when Arsenal equalized 1-1, I knew Manchester United would still win that game. Because he introduced Cristiano Ronaldo immediately. Now, what does that mean? He read the game. 
he saw that um Arsenal defensive line has has be has protruded a lot. Yeah. Saliba and uh, Ben yeah. White were already on the the the, the midfield. The Arsenal were pressing for about twenty minutes. Manchester United were not finding it easy. So after introducing Cristiano Ronaldo, so the, the, they had to punish Arsenal defense. And look at when you have players like Marcos Rashford, Cristiano Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes facing your defense, you know there's problem. <laughs> so they flew in important uh, passes. Look at Bruno Fernandes assist for Rashford, two one. And uh, Bruno Fernandez passed for Ericsson. Ericsson. Ericsson also assisting Rashford, giving him giving him his brace. So for me, Ateta panicked and Ten Hag pounced on on his knee on his knee jerk reaction by substituting four players immediately after two one. That was a panic call by him. So you don't do that against Manchester United. Yeah. Even Manchester City won't play with such a high line yeah. against Manchester United attack. Okay, um, so let's go. Let's talk. Let's still talk about Manchester United. Yeah. Do you think there is still space for a Cristiano Ronaldo in that squad or a Harry Maguire in that squad? I do think uh, 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 McTominay is going to be the uh, standing for for mm. Manchester United, and Casemiro is going to remain in the bench all through the season. Or do you think Casemiro had the chance of displacing uh, um, a McTominay in that four, or in that okay. on that uh, on that future? Okay, we we'll take it sequentially. Yeah. We talked about Ronaldo. Yeah. So I feel Ronaldo has a claim in the yeah. starting lineup, okay. but he needs time. Actually, Ten Hag is not happy uh, with Ronaldo for missing preseason. Yeah. So he needs him to come to match fitness, and he also needs him to know the kind of gameplay he wants to play. Yeah. And he also needs to see an improvement in Cristiano Ronaldo's attitude. Yeah. He has a problem with his attitude. And he has told Cristiano Ronaldo, times down number, he has told the press that Cristiano Ronaldo is in his plans. He said it from the first day, he came to Manchester United and he arrived current training ground. So for um, McTominay, the second question, if McTominay can displace, uh, if uh, McTominay can displace Casemiro of, yeah, of what people claim, people feel Casemiro should, because he's from Real Madrid, he yeah. should start over McTominay. For me, Ten Hag is more of a team coach. Yeah. Ten Hag is not an individual kind of coach. He doesn't believe because you are this, because you are that, you should just jump to the starting lineup. He wants everyone to work for his place. He wants everyone to earn his right to the starting lineup. Yeah. And McTominay so far has been performing. McTominay has been dogged in the midfield. So for me, Casemiro needs to do more. And for Maguire, no chance. No chance. Yeah, I repeat, Maguire, no chance. Maguire is going to warm the bench for about two years.